Hey all you action figure enthusiasts out there, JC here with another T&I news video. And today I've only got a couple things I wanted to cover with you guys, uh, two relating to Marvel Legends and one relating to DC Multiverse. Now as at the time of this filming, I was hoping that there were going to be some reveals from this weekend C2E2 convention, which is taking place in Chicago that began today. But at the time of this filming on Friday, I have not seen anything new that we haven't already seen before. Companies like Diamonds Like Toys are there and Bluefin Distributors are there. And I am hoping that maybe Diamonds Like Toys reveals their new John Wick 7-inch scale figure that they announced at Toy Fair. But at the time of this filming, uh, none of that has, been, has happened as of yet. So if that does happen, I'll be sure to update the websites with that information. So be sure to check those throughout the weekend. And then next time I do a news video, I'll be sure to update you about any reveals made from that convention. But as of today, like I said, I just really had three things I wanted to share with you guys. The first being DC Multiverse. So we've gotten some new images and I haven't officially confirmed these images. They do seem fairly legit. They come from a website called their action figures. I'll put their link in the video description below. I believe they're a toy shop based out of Delaware. And these seem to be uh, images, you know, basically sent out to retailers and e-tailers. You can see the preliminary stamped all over it and everything. So these are definitely early images. They're not very high quality or anything like that. But the images show a, a very 90s themed, what I'm guessing, wave of figures, which will probably come out after the, the Lex Luthor Collecting Connect Rebirth wave that we saw at Toy Fair. So this wave is going to include a new Catwoman figure, Batman Beyond, Kyle Rayner Green Lantern, Kingdom Comes Superman, Impulse, and Lobo. Now, I believe all of these are regular figures. None of these are the Collect and Connect figures. I, I can't say that 100%, but generally with these kinds of images, they don't actually show the Collect and Connect figure. So, so again, I don't think like Lobo, some of you were speculating because he's a bigger character, he might be the Collect and Connect. I don't think so. Um, again, I can't say 100%, but I really don't. Also, I don't know when this wave would be released. Again, I'm assuming that it will be released after the, the Lex Luthor Collect and Connect Rebirth wave but I don't know that for sure. I do know last time I checked with, with some of the e-tailers out there that that wave wouldn't be uh, going up for pre-order until July and see release in July. So so if this is the next wave after that, I would not expect to see it until the end of the year. But again, I don't have any of that confirmed. But I just wanted to give you a heads up. You know, Again, I do think these images are legit. So it definitely looks like there's some new comic book based six inch multiverse figures in the pipeline. Okay, in other news, uh, as I said, the other two pieces of information I wanted to share with you guys were both Marvel Legend related. So first of all, if you hadn't heard, the new X-Men wave with the Apocalypse Build-A-Figure has started to hit in Canada. A number of people have been finding that wave. And so we've got some new in-hand images of that wave I wanted to share with you. Some package images and some out-of-the-package images. So the package images come from SB Toy 74 and then the loose images come from the Only Fox, both of which have posted these images up on their Instagram accounts. I'll put links to both of their accounts in the video description below if you want to check them out. But these images kind of give us a breakdown of, of which figure will have which collecting connect piece and everything. Now, I, I want to let you guys know that this assortment, the, the figure that will be double packed in this assortment, is going to be the Tiger Stripe Wolverine. Unfortunately, it's not the Multiple Man. I know many of you are going to want to get more than one of Multiple Man, so it would have been cool if they'd made that the one that's double packed. But as it is, it's going to be Wolverine is the one that's that's two per case. So the breakdown for this wave goes as follows. We're going to be getting Psylocke, and she's going to come with one of the legs for the Apocalypse figure. She's also going to have that psychic mask and her psychic blades that you see her use in the comic books. Gladiator, which is basically a reissue of the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive version, I think maybe with some minor paint variations, and that's going to come with the head for Apocalypse. Magneto, a new Magneto in the black and red costume, and he's going to come with an arm for Apocalypse. He's also going to have an unmasked head, which looks pretty good. Alternate hands, translucent purple hands to mimic his abilities, and some lightning effects to go along with that. 
The tiger stripe Wolverine is going to come with the tentacles or the, the hoses that connect from Apocalypse's body to his arms. And also is going to come with a pair of non-clawed hands, even though I, I'm pretty sure probably the claws are going to be removable on, on the regular hands anyway. And then we're getting the 80s Mohawk Storm, and she's going to come with the torso for Apocalypse and have some lightning effects. Sabretooth is just going to come with one of the arms for Apocalypse. And then the multiple man will have three different heads. So if you do end up buying more than one, you can kind of vary them with the different head sculpts. And he's going to also come with a leg for Apocalypse. And then we're also getting an image of the Apocalypse Build-A-Figure. Again, thanks to the only fox. Now, the other bit of news I wanted to share with you guys is we've gotten some new images for the second wave of Avengers-themed Marvel Legend figures being released this year. This is the second wave that'll have figures from the upcoming Avengers Infinity War movie. So we had seen all these figures announced at Toy Fair back in February, but these are new loosed and packaged images. So again, we have a breakdown of what each figure is going to include. Now the Build-A-Figure for this wave is the Black Dwarf, or as they call him, Cole Obsidian. And you can see from these images, the Build-A-Figure is going to have a large axe, and I don't know which figure is going to get that. You know, I don't know where that axe is gonna be included from these images. I cannot see that axe in any of the packaging. Some of you have been wondering, could there be a mystery figure that is yet to be revealed for this wave? And I can't say 100% that that's not the case that would be kind of odd but but you know again i can't say 100 it's such a it's such a large weapon though that it would you know sometimes they can put these things you know these kinds of accessories in the packaging and it's hard to see but that's such a large weapon that i would think you would see it from these packaging shots and i've i've looked at them very closely and i've just not been able to tell which figure is going to include the axe but as the wave does break down, this is going to include two comic book based figures. So we're going to be getting the Black Knight figure and he's going to come with three different head sculpts and his ebony blade uh, sword. And that is going to come with one of the legs for the build a figure. We're getting the Malekith figure, the comic book based figure, which again is a, just a repaint of one of the San Diego Comic Con exclusives. And he's going to come with his sword and one of the arms for the build a figure. We're getting from the upcoming Ant-Man and Wasp movie two figures. Now, Ant-Man and Wasp is not getting its own wave this year. They're just being the two figures that we're getting from that movie are being included in the Avengers wave. So we're getting both Ant-Man and he's going to come with an unmasked head, a Scott Lang unmasked head, which looked pretty good at Toy Fair. And then I believe that's a, a second head sculpt with the helmet on. I don't think it's like a removable helmet. They made it the way they have it in the packaging. It looks like they've done it as a removable helmet, but I believe that's just a second head sculpt, not an actual removable helmet. Now, Ant-Man is going to have one of the legs for, for the Build-A-Figure. And then the Wasp figure is going to also have a masked and unmasked head or unhelmeted head. She's going to have an alternate pair of hands and then also an alternate back piece so that you can basically have it so her wings are not deployed. At least I'm pretty sure that's what that is. And then for the Build-A-Figure, she's going to have the head. And then the other two figures are both Avengers Infinity War based. So we're getting Thor. This is the second Thor figure we're getting from the movie. This one will have both of his eyes and also have the Stormbreaker hammer slash axe, which will have some lightning effects that you can attach to it. He'll be coming with one of the arms for the Builder figure. And then Black Widow with the blonde hair will be the final figure in this wave, or I believe the final figure in this wave. And she'll come with the torso section for the build a figure. She'll have her batons that you can either have separately or connect as one piece. And then I believe also those are tasers that she comes with and an alternate pair of hands. So I don't have a specific release date. That should be the next wave that's released after this X-Men wave. So I'm guessing that's probably going to see release in a month or so. You know, sometimes these come out right on top of each other, so it could be sooner. But I would say probably more likely it's going to be in about a month or so. Maybe they'll time it with the movie. I don't know. But I mean, I, I would guess we'll start to see it kind of overseas like we're seeing with the X-Men wave before we see it here in the United States. So at that point, I'll have a better idea. But as it is, like I said, I don't have a specific release date. I know a lot of you have been asking. 
Okay, so that's it for the news today. Let me know in the comments section below what you think about everything we talked about today. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you're so inclined, please like the video and hit that subscribe button down below. I'd really appreciate it. Also, be sure to keep it to the websites this weekend for any reveals from the C2E2 convention. Nothing as of right now, but I am hoping that we'll see something new from Diamond Select Toys like their John Wick figure. And then if there are reveals from the convention this weekend, I will also be sure to recap that in the next news video, which I'll likely do next week. You can also follow me on my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch accounts. That's another way to kind of keep up with any kind of reveals from conventions and stuff. I have links to those in the video description as well. So until next time, guys, I'll catch you later.